Did Mary, Queen of Scots, really have a better claim to the English throne than Elizabeth I? So throughout Elizabeth I's reign, she was the subject of many plots um, to remove her, to kill her, and to put Mary, Queen of Scots, on the English throne. But why did Mary have such a strong claim? Both Mary and Elizabeth were descended from Henry VII of England and his wife Elizabeth of York. Henry and Elizabeth had four surviving children. They had Arthur, Prince of Wales, who died aged about 15. They had Margaret, Queen of Scots. They then had the future Henry VIII and little Mary, who was briefly Queen of France. As we all know, Henry eventually became Henry VIII and he eventually had three surviving children. He had Mary, Elizabeth and Edward. And his sister, Margaret, went on to become Queen of Scotland. Margaret Tudor married James IV of Scotland, so she became the Queen of Scots. And her son, James, the future James V of Scotland, was Mary, Queen of Scots' father. And of course, as you know, Henry VIII married secondly Anne Boleyn, and together they had Elizabeth. So this made Mary and Elizabeth cousins, which therefore did mean that Mary had a legitimate claim to the English throne to her grandmother. But many perceived Mary's claim to the English throne to be far stronger because she was a Catholic. At this time, England had returned to the Protestant faith, which many disagreed with and thought that she was a usurper and somebody who should not be on the throne. Furthermore, many Catholics did not recognise the marriage between Henry and Anne Boleyn because they thought that his divorce or divorce from Catherine of Aragon was illegal and it was not recognised by the Catholic Church. This then made Elizabeth, in their eyes, an illegitimate child, and illegitimate children did not have claims to the throne. On top of this, because Henry himself had executed Anne Boleyn and had declared his own daughter Elizabeth a bastard child, that then weakened Elizabeth's claim to the throne even more because her own father had said that she was illegitimate. Consequently, many people saw Mary's claim to the English throne as far more solid and far more legitimate. Not only did she have a direct claim to the Tudor throne, she also had the correct faith in their opinion. And this is ultimately why Elizabeth I imprisoned her cousin and eventually executed her, thereby removing this threat and the figurehead of the Catholic cause.